All right, people. So once again, Hillary Clinton, no surprise here. She is a frequent liar, but she has once again lied to the American people. So let's watch here what she says in the third presidential debate about accepting election results. All right, so she says it's horrifying that Trump is actually, you know, he's, he, he, was, he was saying he's going to look at the election, you know, see if there was any voter fraud, election theft, and then make a determination if there was any uh, fraud. And, and Hillary Clinton responds to that, that that's horrifying that Donald Trump would, you know, say that the election's rigged. Um, so that's also a great little face there of Hillary Clinton. But I know that's very childish of me, but I, I paused it at a, at a good moment there, but... um. But no, I mean, seriously, she says it's horrifying at the thought of challenging the election, of questioning lo the legitimacy of, of an election. Oh, but if we go, uh, you know, any mainstream news, oh, look at that. You know, Hillary challenges election results. Total fraud Hillary Clinton is. So it really appears that they're trying to steal the election because I want to show you something. Uh, you know, we've been hearing, oh, Hillary's won the popular vote, meaning she should win. Well, I want to look at the election because uh, results because I was saying, you know, I, I remember on election day, she was only up by like 300,000 votes. And, and I'm like, how did she get, go, uh, all of a sudden go up by like 2 million when like like 95% of the, of the election results were in? So let's go. Um, I could You could actually do this web archive, go back in time and look at web pages. So I, I went to the New York Times, found their election results. Uh, type the the um, the uh, link into webarchive.org, and we could go to November 9th here and go. This is all the times that they took a screenshot of the um, of the page. As you see, they got a shit ton. So let's just go November 9th when the election was called. November 9th around what three three thirty. Um, let's see if I can get that here. Um, uh, let me see if I could get it here. For some reason, it didn't let me click. 3.30. Okay, so this is uh, 3.30. Um, okay, so this doesn't look like it's at 3.30. Maybe some problems here. So let's try this. Let's just go to the 10th. Let's go to November 10th. Um, let's see what this one says here. Okay, so this is November 10th. This one says it was last updated at 12.14 a.m. on November 10th. It has Trump, uh, again, down by about 300,000 popular votes. And, um, I mean, if you go down to the to the states, I mean, almost everybody is 99% reporting. I mean, you, you have a few that are, you know, 72. Um, but, I mean, most of them are, you know, 100% or 99%. I mean, Utah is 78%. But, I mean, Utah was favored for Trump. So... But I mean, most are not 99%. So the only ones that are not 99, you know, high 90s or 100% are Washington and Utah. So it pretty much evens out there um, between Democrat and Republican, which ones are not, you know, 99 or, you know, 98% in. I mean, I'm looking at all of these and all of them are either 100 or 99% except Utah and Washington. So it's not like California is 50% in and she got all the votes from there. As we see, California is 100% in, which is heavily Democrat. So she's up 300,000. So let's go to, uh, let's try one week later. So this is one week later, um, November 16th. She magically jumps up by a million. I don't know how that happened, but she's magically up by a million. So let's, let's go one week later to the 24th. 
Now, let's see. Now she's magically up, you know, 1.2 million creeping up there. Um, now let's go to um, present day, the 26th. Let's see what they have. So it goes from 1.2 million on the 24th all the way up to now they're saying it's 2 million. It doesn't even say this on the New York Times. Uh, you know, let's try typing it in here. I thought it would, you know, be updated, but so for some reason it doesn't. So let's go to the current page, New York Times election results, and let's see what the New York Times is saying. So yeah, they have Clinton up 1.2 million. I'm sure other uh, <clears throat> other organizations uh, might have it different, but the point is, let's see if we could get it here. Let's see what CNN has. Uh, this is this isn't scripted, guys. So, um, yeah, CNN has her up two million. Somehow she just magically gets you know up. To, she goes from you know only up three hundred thousand on election day with like ninety eight percent of the vote in to up two million. I mean, it just makes no sense. I don't understand how that happened. So if somebody could please explain to me how that happened, that'd be great. So then you get the whole thing of the Electoral College. And the Democrats were not talking about the Electoral College and the problems with it once during the election cycle because it actually favored them. So now we got uh, articles, you know, eight reasons the Electoral College shouldn't vote for Trump. Oh, yeah. You know, Hillary Clinton, there you go, won the popular vote. Um, I, I mean, it's all oh, the Trump University settlement. How about the FBI? Huh? How about that? I mean, these are just again the the mainstream media trying to uh, try. Oh, here we go. Trump has demonstrated a complete lack of trustworthiness. Well, I just explained to you how Hillary Clinton lied, and it's confirmed she lied about her emails. Um. Oh yeah, the whole bigotry bullshit. They always talk about the bigotry. Um, failed to disavow racism again. Bullshit. He he disavowed David Duke a million times. Oh, Russia. Oh, yeah, Russia. Oh, it's all about Russia. No evidence of Russia being involved in our elections. That is just bullshit. He will use the presidency to enrich himself, even though he said he wouldn't take uh, you know, money as, as the president. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And then we got another one here. The Constitution lets the Electoral College you know, choose. They should choose Clinton. And then we got Jill Stein. You know, the whole reason this recount happened is because of Jill Stein, you know, calling for this election thing. And she raises, you know, four point five million, I think it was. And I'm wondering, like, how the fuck did she get all this money? It seems like a lot of money just to make in a week. I didn't even hear about this. So who the fuck is donating to this fucking thing? I would I guess it's the Hillary Clinton Hillary Clinton campaign or top Democrats because as you see here, Jill Stein raises more funds for recount than entire presidential campaign. How the fuck does that happen? The campaign raised four point five million, but only three point five million for her campaign. A total fraud. And why is Jill Stein only investigating? She she, you know, claims to be bipartisan and, you know, a third party, in, independent. You know, independent from the main two parties. Well, why is she only uh, uh, questioning the results in, in in places Hillary Clinton lost narrowly? She's not questioning places Trump lost narrowly, like Virginia. No, she's not, because this is this is something to try to steal the election for Hillary Clinton. And, and uh, just one more thing too, we heard the whole thing about oh Hillary Clinton, you know, or Donald Trump not accepting the election results. Donald Trump, you know, if he if he doesn't accept that he's a he's a crybaby and a whiner and you know that's what Obama was making fun of him. Oh, he's whining and the election's rigged. He should accept the election result. If he if this was the other way around and he came out and said the election result, you know, wasn't legit and questioned it, he would be just destroyed in the media right now. But as we as we look, is Hillary Clinton being destroyed in the media? No, she's not. If we look up the name Hillary Clinton and go to news. All we see is, oh, Hillary Clinton's team joins, you know, you know, Clinton campaign to participate in Wisconsin election recount. There's actually one good one here I saw on the Daily Beast. You know, sorry, Hillary Clinton fans. There's no, but that doesn't even point out that Hillary Clinton lied about it, saying it was horrifying that Donald Trump might question the election result if he lost. Um, see, see, it's just them reporting the news saying, oh, you know, this. 
you know, Hillary Clinton's doing this. It's not Hillary Clinton is questioning the election result, even though she said it would be horrifying just a month ago. So it's 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 complete bullshit. They're trying to steal the election for, for from Trump. I don't know what the fuck Jill Jill Stein's doing. I mean, the only reason to do this to question the result is to 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 have Hillary Clinton win, because we we damn well know Jill Stein's not going to win. This is just an absolute fraud. Um, so I think you know they might try to you know steal this election from Trump combine you know with a combination of this recount versus getting and getting electors to not vote for Trump even though they are bound to vote for Trump and they sh you know, that's been the tradition in our, in our country. So I mean we we've seen a push to have the electors not vote for Trump. You know even though Trump won the state they they want to get the electors not to vote for Trump. It's it's a complete fraud. And once again they are trying to steal the election election from Trump just like they try to steal the nomination from Trump even after he got the 1237 the number of delegates. It's a complete fraud. Hillary Clinton's a complete fraud. The Democratic establishment is a complete fraud. And, and and this will just only fail, just like everything else that they've tried to do against Trump has failed. And uh, I'm just so sick of it. And I also saw this one other headline, too, why I typed in Hillary Clinton. Salon.com, a piece of shit news organization, saying that it was the media's fault that Hillary lost because they portrayed her, you know, Oh, you know, uh, a sinister Hillary Clinton dominated conservative media and appeared in the mainstream media. You know, it's saying that the mainstream media, you know, attacked Hillary uh, and, and was against Hillary and biased against Hillary. Just complete, you know, it's the other way around, fucking liberal news. I mean, this is just so ridiculous how much people in the news, in the Clinton campaign, Hillary Clinton herself are just lying to the American people flat out and the mainstream media gives her a free pass. Yet Salon.com says, oh no, it's the other way around. This is just a bullshit thing. And uh, it just proves how much Trump is anti-establishment and how much the establishment hates Trump because we've never seen anything like this to try to get him uh, you know, not to be the president. So there you go, people.